All right, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to talk about this new uh, 75,000, 7,500 tax credit details that got released. And is there a $55,000 Model Y coming? We'll take a look at why I'm thinking that might be the case because there's, there's a section on this IRS page that actually goes into price caps of these vehicles. And there's gotta be a reason why they did that, right? Because they're kind of reverting on what they used to say before about like $80,000 for SUVs and stuff like that. But now it's clear as day that a vehicle, the Tesla Model Y can't be above this price. So we'll take a look at it. And today's video is actually sponsored by Tenant. Down below in the description, there's a link where you can check out Tenant. Thank you to Tenant for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. And Tenant's a really good sponsor because this so uh, service or this financing where you can finance your Tesla goes hand in hand with the $7,500 ta tax credit. So definitely check that out if you're interested, but we'll, talk, we'll dive more into that. And I'll probably make another video all about it completely and more on that later. All right, so before, they run before we do that, let's roll that intro real quick. All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best deal on a Tesla at the best possible price, or just getting really good financing on your Tesla. So if you're interested in any of that, please hit that subscribe. All right, so let's just take a look directly on this page on the IRS website. You can see they've released more guidance on vehicles like manufactured models for new qualified clean vehicles purchased in 2023 or after. And you can see there's, you know, it's clear as day right here it says that the they cannot exceed a manufacturer's suggested retail price of 80,000 for vans sport utility vehicles and pickup trucks and of course 55 for other sedans so we've been speculating for a while that of course the model 3 would have to get dropped in price under 55k but the model y we i mean i thought we always thought like it, according to the epa websites all these different websites it you know it's qualified as a sport utility vehicle so like the prices would not need to change but jumping down to this section where you can go into each of the different manufacturers and see which vehicles qualify as what and so let's the Mach-E, it, I guess it's not right. Oh, yeah, it's Mach-E. Yeah, oh, interesting. Mach-E doesn't qualify as an SUV either, so 55000 But we don't care about any of these other EVs. Let's just jump down to Tesla. And this kind of is unfortunate. It's coming out like, what, two to three days at the end of the month here because there's a lot of people that are banking on that 7500 but they're also paying higher prices. So this, if I was an owner right now, I would be uh, certainly confused on what to do. But at the end of the day, $7,500 as a line item discount is better than a tax credit. But if the prices change, we don't know. So I, I really have to think about this over the next few hours. But here it is. So Model 3, that's already old news. We know it couldn't be higher than 55000 But the shocking news of this is the Model Y section right here, especially the five seat variants, because I guess they're basically qualified if it, they're basically saying that if the vehicle has five seats and not a third row, like a seven seat, it's not considered an SUV. So right here, you can say, you can see an applicable MSRP limit, 55,000. So that would mean, that would mean that they would have to take the prices of all their Model Y variants, the standard range, the long range, and the performance to qualify for this $7,500 discount to under 55,000. I mean, we know most likely they're not going to reduce the Model Y performance. That's a $70,000 car right now. Reducing that type of money right off the price like that would, I, I feel like it would be a shocker to the system because, I mean, we can take a look at the price history charge. Here's Model Y. You can see right here, it's uh, $69,000, $79,000. The Model Y long range is $65,000. And the standard range, which we were speculating would come into the market at you know high 50s, 57, 58, 59, has been selling for around $60,000. And if you back out you know, the $60,000 and then take out the $7,500 tax credit, I mean, sorry, does. De December credit, it pulls it down to like 53.54. But according to this, those vehicles have to be less, the Model Ys have to be less than 55,000. So the question is, the question is on January 1st, because the first quarter is where this tax credit, you know, thing goes into play on January 1st, is Tesla going to reduce the prices of their Model Y 
and Model 3 at this point across the board. And will that cause kind of a trickle effect? I mean, if Tesla moves the price of the Model Y and the Model 3 down 15000 what's what's this say about the Model S and the X? Are they going to kind of just have this huge, you know, shift of all the prices across the board? I mean, that that would get pretty interesting i mean we're what two days away from this actually happening so i'm not sure i mean there's a lot of people that have had their estimated delivery dates pushed to january so i mean i know a lot of them want a 7500 hour discount i mean it, it sounds it look kind of looks like that you actually might get lucky and that might actually get happen might actually happen I've been getting a lot of comments. It's really two sides of the camp right now. I've been getting comments that people are getting their orders pushed to next year. And I'm also getting comments that Tesla's being pretty aggressive with trying to lock them down on a delivery date this month and this quarter as well. So, I mean, that would always make sense because they need to hit their numbers. They need to hit uh, their sales goals for the end of the month, end of the year. But the big question is here, is there going to be a $55,000 standard range coming? I think the standard range would make sense. They would reduce it and bake it under the 55k and just you know push units and you know basically take back market share if they've lost it or you know take even take even more electric vehicle market share for all evs or for tesla but the model y long range in the performance i'm not sure if they could even get under that i mean that would be absolutely insane but the question, I mean, they've been in those price ranges before. You can see right here, the Model Y long range was, you know, low 50, maybe even 49,000, like a year and a half ago, maybe even, even two years at this point, we could say, because in January of 2021, it was a $50,000 base price car. So, I mean, not saying they'll go back to that immediately, but I mean, if they want to kill market share, I mean, that'd be absolutely insane. And shout out to Paul Foss. He like tech contacted me on this and tweeted like, you know, he's been on top of it like crazy, tagging me on everything. You can see right here, he posted another comment that was pretty interesting. The Model Y would have to be below 55 before the credit, according to that site. That would mean 47,500 after the credit. Can you imagine a $47,000 Model Y? Why? Like that, if that's not a value play or value deal right there, I'm not sure what is. And then he also says, but they could software limit the car to 100 miles and sell the upgrade for $10,000 like they did in Canada. I had actually no idea that they did that in Canada, but that would make sense, right? Sell you like a lower mild type of vehicle and then say, hey, when you get that $7,500 tax credit, the, your upgrade is now pay $7,500 to get back 300 miles of range. I mean, that, that, that could make sense, but who knows? But shout out to my sponsor of this video, Tenet. Tenet actually plays a pretty crucial role in this because they are the only type of financial company that I've seen so far that actually uh, finances EVs in a different way. They actually allow you to defer some of the payment of your vehicle, like a portion of your vehicle, based upon the tax credit or whatever you want. So you could potentially defer up to $7,500 of your vehicle and wait for that tax credit to kick back in so you don't have to have a high monthly payment. They understand EVs in a different way than other financing banks. So definitely check them out down below in the description if you're interested. I actually just applied the other day, like literally yesterday because I might be interested in buying another EV. And with this new tax credit coming back into play, it might get super, super interesting. So definitely check it out down below in the description if you're interested. Uh, and thank you to Tenet for support uh, sponsoring and supporting the cause in the video uh, for sure. So let's jump into some comments and some questions, see what everybody has to say today, but definitely some super interesting stuff with the, the tax credit coming up. But uh, Tapia, yeah, ain't no way. Like it's it's crazy. Like, uh, I mean, you have a good deal at the end. Of, you have a $55,000 performance that cannot be replica, replica at that. Like there's no way they're going to drop. I mean, not no way like night i'm i'm 90 sure they're not going to drop the performance down to under fifty five thousand because it's never been under under fifty five thousand. if you take a look at some of the charts right here for model y performance it's never been that low but you know who who knows at this point what tesla could do uh tapia i do but canva 2020 is not worth yeah bro my model y just got pushed to 1231 holy crap Ooh, that is down to the wire but i mean now it's kind of like 50-50. Like if you get pushed to January, like, you know, it might, it, who knows? Who knows? Maybe it'll be a good, maybe it'll be a sign. But I think your deal is not replicable. I think you need to just 
try and lock that down. And you're Glendale, right? Uh, pretty interesting. Uh, uh, Marwaha, my delivery day, my delivery is now pushed from December 31st to January 8th. I, don't know, I wish they would come with come with something better for those not eligible for the EV tax credit. Yeah, that's a good, pretty a good, interesting uh, uh, insight. Like, I so I posted on the channel because I feel like Tesla could just do something small for people that don't qualify for the tax credit, or maybe try and like survey those who do and those who don't. I mean, it'd be really tough to do that, right? Maybe they would have you would have to like give them your tax returns or something. But I put a poll on the channel, like, are you going to cancel your order now that's pushed to January twenty twenty three? What would it take for Tesla for from Tesla for you to keep your order? And you see, a big majority said I don't qualify for this tax credit next year, so that's why the seventy five hundred dollar discount you know made a lot of sense to me. And so I mean that would make sense. Like if Tesla gave that to the customers uh, for the ones that don't qualify for the Inflation Reduction Act, like that. I mean I don't know how that they could regulate that or how that could be even be fair in some way, but it definitely makes sense if they could do that. Um, Top, yeah, LA, I'm going to cancel if they push to January. Yeah, I mean, that would make sense. But I would keep it and see, kind of just see what happens. One, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the stream. I have a Model 3 delivery date for Model December 21st. Anything I should keep in mind? Well, make sure you have your financing squared away. Make sure you have the delivery appointment set with uh, everything set up, then that's, that's really it. Uh, and then just be, I always tell people that, you know, the Tesla is not a luxury car, even though it's luxury car pricing. So just be, you know, a little bit flexible with the build quality and thumbs like that. I think all Teslas have pain issues and build quality issues. So at this point, I'm pretty jaded about like, I'll take it as is, as long as I get, you know, a good price and a good deal. Top, I think I'm going to call them to try and push the order to Jan before Jan 1st. Yeah, for sure. Like you have a good deal. I would just try and lock that away and take delivery as soon as possible because you basically have a 55k model y performance at the end so a slick deal for sure but thanks for watching this video guys thanks for watching this you know quick uh, lunchtime special lunchtime stream on this uh definitely check out my patreon down below if you're interested in supporting the channel you can actually schedule a call with me uh, after you support the channel as well as all the different benefits after that 